Oh, this is exciting. Let's see if they're going to do a bit of mating right here in front of the car. Now, Starlight Pan, you're wondering what is wrong with that lioness's eye. Um, it's, I think she's just got herself in a little bit of a scrap, really. Let's see. No, she's using... This lioness is now urinating, and we're going to see this male test her urine. So watch for the beautiful facial, facial expression. So it's just a cut it all heal all right. Often they scrap... Is the beautiful smile, the Fleming and Grimace. Now, they haven't mated once since we've been here yet, but the, the sort of uh, time period that they have been mating it will get less and less. However, apparently this lioness was mating with Tinyo yesterday, which means that Tinyo has been given the boot and Unsuku is now here. So he won't be too tired, he won't be too sick of mating. Oh no, that little cub is now trying to climb down the bank. I don't know how brave that is, little one. Oh, look at it. It hasn't quite got his 4x4 engaged just yet. Well done. You didn't topple on your head. Very impressive. And I think he's got drawn to the, the commotion that's going on down here and doesn't want to be left out. So they're sort of coming to say, hello. Yes, I'd like to come and join you. No, I'd be careful not to get cl too close, little one. Let's see, yes, it looks like he wants to mate with her. And he's actually been quite sweet. He's been grooming her during the morning. He's been doing all sorts of wonderful things. So he's also a beautiful male with a lovely temperament. Though, even though they're nice and relaxed now, if there were other male lions in the area, or a battle between dominance to establish who can mate with the females, and I'll tell you right now, he'll go from being lovely and placid to, in, in, well, not a kill, well, not quite a killing machine, but definitely do some damage to his brothers or other male lions that dare try to come here. But isn't this cool? Sitting, have a little one going for another little drink. Now you can actually see the mange, especially on the tail and around the elbows, and normally the tips of the ears as well, but the ears don't look so bad. A little bit tattered, but I think that that could be from all the biting flies that are um, out at the moment. But this is great. And I kid you not, there's not another vehicle in sight. We were here all on our own. And I love it. I actually miss spending lots of time with the lions. We went from when I first started working here to seeing them ten times a day and sitting with them for hours and hours and hours and watching them grow to them vanishing towards the end of the year after we had our big rains. Well, at least we've got the sticks pride. I'm very happy about that. Be nice to get to know them a little better. I don't know this pride very well. This is so fantastic. Now, Claire, you're wondering how sharp are the lion's claws. Claire, it's, it's exceptional um, how, how sharp they are. I see that little one trying to do the phlegm and grimace now as well. They've all got a Jacobson organ, but at this stage, I don't really know how to use it very well, but try, trying to do the same little face. And so, Claire, if you remember the zebra that we saw, um, for, for example, that one from the McCurdy hoodie that unfortunately was savaged by a, what we think to be a lioness. It could have been a male lion too. And all that skin um, that was removed from that zebra, that was just done by the claws. So that just shows you it's, they're, they're like very, very, very sharp chef's knives, I, uh, I presume, and so sharp uh, that they was able to slice, well, the flesh the skin right back off of the fatty layer which was pretty gruesome of course as I describe it and quite gross to see too but it is its nature and it's just one of those things well, gross is not the right word to use but yeah but you get what I mean and uh, and we still don't know where that zebra is just a quick update I haven't seen any particular tracks of hers hers will be very easy tracks to follow too because she'll have a limp so you'll notice that the striding between the front and back legs is not going to be the same. The back right should probably be dragging. So you may even see a drag mark. But none of that just yet. And now they've gone to sleep. This is lovely. And that's a good spot where they're laying too. On the mud. So they will keep nice and cool. Not necessarily like hyenas and wild dogs that will quite happily go and lay in a puddle of water to cool themselves down. It's not uncommon to see leopards and lions just sitting at the, ba sitting at the base of a watering hole on some mud where it is nice, nice and cool.
We'll see if these lines get up to a little bit more, but I think uh, they're going to have a siesta now. Everything is settled down, so we might move on and try to find uh, something else. But let's go back across to the bushwalk team who seem to be looking at one of the most important insects in the world.